I am one with my glorious I am presence. And Holy Christ Self, my personalities, body elemental, and new spirit, all parts of my being are in balance, harmony, and alignment. And I am fully contained within my heart diamond and Metatron's cosmic egg. I am now ready to receive today's message. Greetings, beloveds. I welcome you into my heart, into the fullness of my being, as I fill you with infinite love infinite light and an infinite amount of all of the divine qualities that you seek and that you wish to become. This light is available to you at all times, beloveds. It is merely up to you to remember to receive it, to welcome it into your being so that you can radiate it outward and be like a source of this light to your environment, to your body, to your entire world. It is indeed in this way that the light will increase in this entire planet, in this solar system, and in this galaxy. It is by the individual effort of each and every one of you that the light will be manifest for the unawakened ones to see, to behold, to learn about, so that they too can desire to receive this light and to become this light. When you are told that you are way showers, it is because you are going through this entire process a little bit ahead of most of the people around you. You are truly the avant-garde. And it is not an easy role to play. And yet, I promise you, you have everything that you need to do it. If you only trust in your divine presence within you to come forth and to manifest through you that which you need for yourself and that which you need to give to others. You are so used to relying on your mind to direct your activities, to tell you what is good to tell you what is right, to tell you what to do and what not to do. And yet, if you truly wish to be way showers, it is time to go beyond the dictates of the rational mind, to trust in the divine mind within you, to ask for its guidance, to obey it once you receive it. This is probably the most important task you have before you at this time. When you add the frequencies of love to any task that you undertake, you are giving it a divine impetus But this love 
will not be effective if you are doing things that are not in harmony with your divine self. It will have some slight effect because love is love no matter how it is used. But when you are trying to follow the divine will within you and you add the energy of love to it, it brings forth a great enhancement to that activity. It expands it outward so that it influences more and more of life than what it would do from your own normal consciousness and from your own efforts. Love is always divine, no matter how it is manifested. It is always pure. It is always powerful. But when it is conditioned, then its activity is limited. You condition it when you direct it in a certain way, at a certain time, or to a certain person. It is unconditioned when it is simply allowed to flow through you, when you simply are in a state of love. I know that many of you, when you listen to these videos, your heart opens up and you feel the love flowing within you. That is because you are thinking about me, you are listening to me, and so the natural reaction of your heart is to open and to flow. This is a state that I hope you will be able to get into at will. That means that whenever you wish to have your heart open, you can do so. It just takes practice, beloveds. Practice at being love. Practice at being one with your divine self, which is love. And practice being detached from the outer world being detached from your own thoughts, being detached from your own emotions and activities. Being detached means being able to observe your thoughts, emotions, and activities as if it were someone else doing them. It means not having any ego involvement. It means not being the doer of anything. As you become more detached, and this may sound strange, you actually become more one with all of life. It is your attachments that are caused by the ego which make you feel separate and distinct and individualized from everybody else. So as you become unattached, the ego loses its hold and the feeling of being the doer also diminishes.
And then you become more open to the oneness that you truly are with all other beings and with all of life. As you become more your very own true nature, the love will expand and will become a more powerful force through you. When I have asked you to imagine and to visualize your future, one of the things that you can do is to imagine being in a state of love at all times. Imagine it now, beloveds. Imagine that love constantly being foremost in your mind and in your emotions so that <clears throat> so that you feel love towards everything that you gaze upon. When you are in love with another person, it is said that you see the world through rose-colored glasses. This is what I am talking about, beloveds. For when you are truly in love, you perceive everything with that love, and not just the beloved. This is a quality and a power of divine love. So when you are not in love in that way, You must receive the love within you or imagine that you are in love with God or with the Ascended Masters or with your Divine Self. But focus on loving something until the feeling of love within you is strong. And then hold the thought of that person or whatever it is that you love within you. And then look upon your world and see that you will perceive those things with that love that you are feeling within you. This is a powerful technique a powerful activity and a great gift to give both yourself and the world by being love at all times. Practice these simple techniques, beloveds. They are meant to assist you and to help you to be the way showers that you truly are. I thank you for listening. I love and bless you always. I am Metatron.